So I'm back in the churchyard, uh, making the most of a really beautiful day. And behind me, we have a yew tree. <laughs> um, so the book that we are filming today is called The Tree Forager. And in as much as it's not just about trees and it's not just about foraging, it's also about stories and music. And there are recipes in the book. This is the only tree in the book which I advise that you do not eat because it is toxic. Every single part of a yew tree is toxic apart from one little bit um, but you can read about that in the book if you want to. If you are not sure of your spruce, your pines and your fir trees which um, we'll be filming those in another part of this um, series then don't mistake them for you. If you're not sure what those trees are then basically don't see any of them just on the off chance that you might be picking up a yew by accident. What I really wanted to discuss with this tree is why they're so often found in churchyards. If you think that if you lived in a small village, well I do live in a small village, but if I lived in a really tiny village a thousand years ago then if there was an old tree then I would see that tree as kind of a part of my family because it would have been there in the time of your grandfather, your great-grandfather, your great-great-grandmother. So it would be an important part of the landscape. Yew trees grow to terrific ages. I think the oldest one that you will find in the UK for sure is one that's meant to be 7,000 years old. It's actually very hard to date a yew tree because of the way they grow. They don't always do what is expected. They twist and turn and, and do all kinds of strange things, which makes it very, very difficult to um, analyze the DNA to tell you the age. Um, slight diversion, I just remembered a story about my friend Theo who was on a, a very early date with this girl that he was really into and they were at a, uh, an antique shop and he was looking at this bureau that was made of lovely shiny red yew wood and he said he stroked this bureau and said oh I really love you and the girlfriend said oh I love you too and Theo said well I didn't mean you I meant the sideboard and so the rest of the weekend didn't go too well. Anyway, I'm digressing wildly. So if you, if you had a tree like this in your vicinity that had such a reputation about it and everyone knew it, then that would be quite important. And there actually was a, uh, a, a yew worship throughout Europe um, about two, two and a half thousand years ago. And when the early Christians started to build their churches, effectively, they they put their churches exactly where the yew trees were. It's a kind of way of um, using footfall. So that's why we have yew trees in churchyards. There's loads more I could tell you about the yew tree, but you're gonna to have to read the book to find that out.